Okay, um, I just want to say to all the wrestling fans out there, uh, whoever you is out there, um, I am really tired of the WWE. Kind of angry at myself for, cause I'm I'm a victim of buying tickets for WWE and I keep giving them my money. And um, I just bought a ticket to Raw. I don't know why I bought that ticket. Maybe it was to just to get out the house. But I'm watching Raw last night. And we supposed to be on the road to WrestleMania 30. And the whole show was a clusterfuck. And um, a lot of people is buying in to this whole notion that Daniel Bryan will finally get his revolutionary push. I was, I, I kind of was excited last night until I saw Bruce Blitz review, and he said that it wasn't nothing but a work. You know, basically, Daniel Bryan is they just using the fans to get Daniel Bryan, make it seem like Daniel Bryan gonna get pushed, and all the people that was out there on Raw last night was not fans. They was plants by the WWE. So I watched Bruce's video. I watch Bruce Blitz all the time. I like his reviews. But he tell he said that that wasn't nothing but WWE trying to troll everybody into thinking that Daniel Bryan will be in the main event, which it probably won't be, you know, because they taking this whole hijack thing and they trying to use it to their ability. That's the stuff that makes me mad. You know, I want to support Daniel Bryan. And then again, I just don't want to give a fuck. You know, this whole thing with Cena pandering to Hulk Hogan just so his bitch ass can get some uh, some uh, cheers from the fans. It's bullshit because John Cena is a fraud. John Cena will always be a fraud. John Cena ain't nothing but a good for nothing piece of shit. That's what John Cena is. Please like me. That's what he is. John Cena will never be nothing to me. He uses Hulk Hogan. WWE wants to get Hulk Hogan in front of a crowd. Oh, let me tell you something, broker. Just so John Cena could come out and save the day. I don't know why I continue to fall victim towards this piece of shit. I don't know why. Why do I keep on falling victim to the WWE? <sighs> Sometimes I gotta ask myself, why? Um, the, the Raw shows, the SmackDown shows, are boring. So, I don't, I don't even get it, man. I, I, sometimes I just don't even get why I fall victim to the WWE when ain't nothing good going on. <sighs> Maybe it's because I want to get out the house. Maybe that's why I'm going to Raw. Because I want to get out the house. Maybe I'm just a Dave Batista fan. And I want to see Batista. I don't know why. <sighs> WWE. Bringing in Daniel Bryan. To get. Use the fans. To thinking that he going to go to the main event at WrestleMania. When we already know. Triple H is going to bury Daniel Bryan. There was a way to get your money for the network and and a way to swoop the fans in to believe in this. And now all of a sudden, oh, hey, Daniel Bryan is going to the main event of WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan would never be on top of the WWE as long as John Cena is in the WWE. He will never be the man. Roman Reigns will never be the man. Bray Wyatt would never be the man because of John Cena. The man that, who holding everybody back. The man who won't never lead the company. The man who uses sick kids for his own use just to get an organic reaction from the crowd. A man who can't get over on his own. A man that keep getting booed and booed and booed in every freaking arena he go to. St. Louis, New York, Chicago, Memphis, L.A., Tennessee. It don't matter where John Cena go. Because John Cena is a cancer to the WWE. And I buy videos like Bruce Blitz and people who are against John Cena. Because the dude will never change. 
he will never change. That's why I always find myself saying, I watch a little bit of Raw, but when Cena come out, it's like, wah, 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 wah. So he coming out on Raw, and they, they made Hulk Hogan lick every two inches of his ass last night. Because John Cena can't get over. Now him and Hulk Hogan is best friends. Miss the Hulk Hogan who put wrestling on the map, who did everything for for the WWE back in the eighties, and now John Cena. Oh Hulk Hogan, I love you Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, you're the best. You're the greatest wrestler of all time. Hulk Hogan, I got to get over with the crowd. I love the crowd. Please like me, crowd. I'm here for you. I've been here for you every week. I've been here for you since. I was shoved down your throats in 2003 because I'm John Cena and I'm going to bury J Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania because I'm fucking on steroids and I will never leave the WWE because I'm John Cena and I'm John Cena. I've been John Cena for all these years. <sighs> you know what? Um, wrestling just give me a headache. I don't know why. The only thing reason why I got the network is because I want to see Stone Cold and the Rock and them on the WWE Network. As far as this other shit go about um about stupid Cena and freaking fake Sheamus and Christian matches and WWE using Daniel Bryan just so they can get money and knowing they're not gonna put Daniel Bryan in the main event, they can go fuck off, you know. And Triple H, Triple H, the game. You really think that Triple H is going to put Daniel Bryan over at WrestleMania? You got another thing coming. I've been watching Triple H for the last few years of my life. And Triple H never was the man in the Attitude Era. He might have been the man in the Ruthless Aggression Era. But he certainly wasn't the man in Stone Cold Days. Stephanie with her whiny ass. I'm mad at myself. I'm angry at myself. Because I keep falling victim to this bullshit. I'm not angry at nobody else. If you like the WWE, if you like pro wrestling, that's you. That's your that's your opinion. That's what you do. I try to watch the Raw. Just I don't know why I watch Raw. I don't know why I watch Raw. Maybe because I love professional wrestling, sports entertainment. I don't like sports entertainment. I don't know what the WWE is now. I don't know. It's a big clusterfuck. And WrestleMania 30, just because you're putting Daniel Bryan in the match with Triple H, don't mean that you're going to save WrestleMania 30. Some Andre the Giant Battle Royale. Who gives a fuck? I, I, I thought on the road to WrestleMania, all your Raws and SmackDowns are supposed to be top notch. That's how it used to be in the past? Because WWE don't give a fuck about WWE uh, WrestleMania. All they care about the, is the ching ching, the cash. In the money and putting on crappy shows with Muppets and Scooby Doo and not grown man wrestling. I'm a fan of grown man shit. That's what I am. I don't even know why I'm going to Raw. I asked myself, why did you go to Scott Trace and then buy a WWE ticket knowing what they're going to do? <sighs> WWE just gave me a headache. All the backstage politics. All the nonsense, all the corny wrestlers, all the fake commentary. It, it sucks. It sucks to be a pro wrestling fan. I'm out.